Hey what's up, my name is Collector and today I'm super happy because I reached the 500 subs here on my channel. Now I know it's not actually a lot, but I'm each and every one super thankful for subscribing and also for all the support that I'm getting. And to show this, I created a special thank you pack and in this video I will explain everything that's inside and how to use these resources. So first of all, I created a Screech build pack. After my huge free kickback, which is still available for download by the way, a few people asked me if I could do the same with Screeches. So that's why I created this. It comes with 10 special Screech build folders and each folder contains 36 loops, 144 shots and 36 reverse reverbs. And on top of that, I included the serum preset, the MIDI file and the mixer channel preset that was used for processing the Screech. This means that there are almost 2,200 samples and presets that you can directly drag and drop into your projects. And if that wasn't enough, I also added 35 more Screech presets, from which 20 for Serum and 15 for Silent, then 20 extra MIDI files that mostly have Screech rhythms, 10 mixer channel presets with stock plugins only for quick processing of Screeches, and 30 presets for the effect chain within Serum. And the good thing about all of this is that it's absolutely for free. Now apart from the Screech build pack, I created an upgrade from this free pack which is called the Production Bundle 1. And there you get all the resources from the Screech build pack, but it comes with the following additions. 15 classic sounds for direct wave, which are mostly plug sounds sampled from instruments like Viper and Dune 3, Exclusive Kickback 1, Exclusive Kickback 2, three templates for FL Studio, 240 presets for FL Studio's mixer, where I only used stock plugins, a serum kickback, a serum punchback, and a melody help pack. So let's have a look what exactly each pack contains, starting with the Screech build pack. And as I mentioned before, there are 10 Screech build folders. And in each folder, I added another folder that contains the loops and I rendered the loop on each different node and every node comes in three versions. The, uh, the first one is a dry version, which means that there is some processing on the mixer channel, but that's only stuff like EQ, saturation, compression, and that sounds like this. Then there is an unprocessed version, which comes straight from Serum, so no processing at all on the mixer channel. And then there's a wet version, which means that it has all the processing, including reverb and or delay. The next folder that I added are the single notes. These are just the, simply the screech shots that I also rendered, both in a long and a short version. And I rendered these from C4 to B6. So that means that you have each um, note over three different octaves rendered in both dry and wet versions. Uh, and dry and wet simply means the same as with the loops before. And same for the short ones. And then the last folder that I added are the reversed reverbs. I also rendered these from C4 to B6, and these could be really useful if you want to create a nice fade in if you're using one of the uh, screech loops or one of the screech shots. You can place them in front of it and you have like a nice fade in. And then the last thing to mention, each folder also has three additional files. The first one is the MIDI file that I used for creating the loops. The second one is the mixer channel preset that you can load into your mixer in FL Studio. And the last one is the preset for Serum. Now the cool thing about this pack with all these 10 folders is that you can be so creative with it to create new sounds for your tracks. You can load in the loops or the single shots and even reverbs, chop them up, create new rhythms, apply your own effects, apply your own processing to it, um, use pitching, use different pitching modes, use automation clips on filters, pitch or EQ points, whatever, uh, try frequency shifting instead of pitch shifting, use the faders that we now have in FL Studio to create a nice smooth loop, 
um, also to presets, open up presets, and they're ready to use, but you can try adding your own twist by tweaking the parameters or tweaking the MIDI files or go into the mixer channel and use different presets, use your own plugins, use your own pre um, plugin presets. There's endless options to create so many cool sounds for your tracks. Now, besides those 10 Screech build folders, I also added a few additional resources for you guys. The first one is a folder with mixer channel presets for FL Studio. And these are made with stock plugins only. And you can just drag and drop them into your mixer and they can be used for quick processing of screeches. And I actually created five different ones and each version then has a dry and a wet one. So the dry one only has an EQ, some distortion and compression. And the wet one then has delay and reverb as well. Um, now the only thing about this is that I always included the delay and the reverb on the same channel. I didn't create FX sense for it. And they should be controlled by a B controller. But the thing is, when as soon as you save the preset like that and you try to reopen it, the B controller is not um, controlling the gain levels of those plugins anymore. So you have to assign it yourself again if you want to use that method. Um, the way you can do that is just right click on the gain behind the delay and or reverb. Then you go to link control, link to controller, and you select the B control peak from the controller attached to the um, mixer insert that belongs to Scritch. You hit that one, here you click on invert it and then you simply hit accept and then um, you see it's affecting the game. And then you can simply tweak these settings to your liking until it fits good in your track. So the next thing that I added are these 20 Screech MIDI files. And most of them are just simply rhythms, um, as you can see, all like this. And you can just drag and drop into your piano roll, uh, change the notes, change the length of the notes, um, switch the rhythm, whatever fits to the track that you're working on. And this is just supposed to be a bit of a source of an inspiration and give you a kickstart into making screeches for your tracks. And then the next folder that we see in this pack are the additional Screech presets, 20 for Serum and 15 for Synth. Um, you can just simply drag and drop them in here um, and, and use them. So that's what they sound like and you can use them as they are or just start tweaking the parameters. What I always like to do is uh, go into the matrix and switch the values of the LFOs, attach them to some other parameters and just go ahead, dive in and try to see what you can create out of it. And then the last thing that comes within this pack are 30 different presets for Serum's effect chain. So what, how that works is you go into Serum and I just created a very simple saw wave. And what you could then do is go here and say load effect chain. And this is where I save the folder. And just go ahead and load up one of these. Let, let's choose the first one, the wet one, because I created 15 different ones. And again, dry and wet version. And that's what happens as soon as you load one of them in. Um, you can... Also, just turn off the reverb to, to hear the comparison between the wet and the dry. And what this does, it's very easy to just turn any sound into a bit of a gritty, almost screech-like sound. So it can create a very nice base for you to quickly create screeches. To, it enhances your productivity and hopefully also your creativity. It's just easy to load them in and you can easily hear what your end result is going to sound like with these effects on. And now the great thing is, if you have Serum, you also have the Serum FX. There it is. And the cool thing is, it also works in here. So you can load up the same presets in here. And see, there you go. It's good to go. So if you have a nice sound 
from Synth and from Serum, but you like the processing that you did on the Serum one, you can actually apply the exact same processing that you have in Serum to a sound from Synth or um, any other sound you basically want. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it, it works in both, so it's also something for you you could check out. So then let's have a look at what is inside the Production Bundle 1. And let's start off with the classic sounds for Direct Wave. These are 15 sampled classic plugs from instruments like Viper and Dune 3. And let's just have a listen to what they sound like. They come with a MIDI file and a um, preset for the mixer channel. Well, here again, we have to attach the the gains of the delaying to the P controller. So let's quickly do that. So now these the delay and the reverb are um, side chain to the wet uh, dry signal, and then that's what it sounds like. So let's uh, let's have a listen to a few. So as you can hear, there are a little bit of that classic sound uh, from classic hardstyle, but I think it's useful in, in modern productions as well. You can layer them with other sounds, put a filter on it, and you have some nice elements for in your breaks. And then next up, we have exclusive kickback one and two. One is a little bit more basic. It was actually meant as a follow up from my free kicked over pack, and it has a few more powerful kicks. They're a little bit more enhanced. And I think they're ideal for raw style stuff. And same goes for um, Kickback 2, even though it, this one is a little bit more advanced because there's eight different kicks, actually nine because there's also a pitched one, and each kick has multiple versions. And it comes with the kick parts that you can load into your playlist, assigned to um, a free mixer channel, and then route everything to the mixer bus, and I included the mic kick bus um, so that you can make your own tweakings to the sound and then make it sound like your own um, and did that for every kick also for the pitch one there's also the kick parts in there and then there is eight different bonus kicks and then next let's have a look at the three different FL Studio templates that are coming with this pack uh, there's two templates for mastering and one production template the first mastering template is this one, and it has only external plugins. Um, but the good thing is that you can just load in the stems of your track here, then assign every single one of them to a free insert, and they are all being routed through this pre-master channel that I like to use for gain staging. Right now, I loaded up the Hornet normalizer for that. Uh, that then goes through the master channel, where I have an EQ, the Pro Q3 loaded up, with a low cut at 25 hertz and a high cut at 18,000 hertz and a low cut on the sides only at 200 hertz. Then a multiband compression to make sure that the frequency curves a little bit more flattened out when going into the zone 10. And here I didn't do any changes yet. You have to, um, you have to make those yourself. Uh, and that goes through this metering insert that I like to use because I like to know what the volume levels of the track are that I'm mastering and I'm using the Inside Pro for that. And the other template has stock plugins only and one free plugin and the concept is basically the same. You can just load it into your playlist again, assign it to free inserts, going through pre-master. Here I'm using uh, Fruity Balance for gain staging. That goes through the master where I have a, the same low cut and high cuts as um, in the other template. A cleanup EQ with little dips around 2000 and 3000 hertz. Then a multiband compression, a limiting with a fruit delimiter and a maximus for some final touches. And that goes through the metering, um, which has this free plugin called Loudness 
Yulin loudness meter too. Um, now it's not mandatory, like it's not necessary to have this plugin for a working template, you can still master, but it's just nice to know what is actually going on in terms of volume levels in your track. So uh, that's why I like to use those. And then the last one is a production template where you have uh, stuff already arranged in the playlist with a basic arrangement as well with an intro, breakdown, build-up, mid-intro, breakdown, melody, build-up, climax, outro, um, space for kicks, screeches, leads, uh, other sounds like harmonies, plugs, arps, um, some some channels uh, designated for drums, for FX as well, and same goes for the mixer channel. Everything is routed through here already. Um, and this is basically meant as a kickstart for you to enhance your productivity um, when producing. Let's say you have a, have a nice idea in your head and you directly want to move in, then you already could use this plugin and um, kickstart your creativity basically. And then next up in this pack is the mixer channel preset pack. Um, comes with 240 presets for FL Studio's mixer and I've included a how to use file on how to set it up because I think it's the easiest if you just right click here go to file and you have all the presets over here as you can see I have Galactor mixer channel presets volume 1 here and below you can find all the presets that I included so for drums there's stuff for claps, crashes, snares, hi-hats, kicks these are not for um, hard style kicks or something these are more for the basic um, club kicks rides, snares and top loops so let's say you're working on a track and you just want to have a nice bright um, clap with a reverb you select this one if you want a clap that's more washed select that one um, and so forth it's very easy because everything is labeled with how it's supposed to sound and most of them are actually good to go but you can also just use it as a base for further processing and it just makes it life so easier and hopefully it can enhance your productivity and efficiency during your production process as well um, there's stuff for FX, so for impacts, some miscellaneous stuff, uh, pre-drop sub basses and white noise. These are for the hard style kicks, raw style or web tempo, or hardcore kicks, whatever you want. You can use it for everything. Um, there's, uh, there's a few presets for 909 starters. So let's say you want to make a kick from scratch. You can load up one of these three presets and it directly starts to sound like a hard style kick. Um, there's stuff for crunch layers, so if you want to make a crunch layer, uh, you can use one of these miscellaneous ones for punches, for sub layers, and also for other tail layers. Um, let's say you then created all your layers and you want to glue them together. You can use some of these presets to easily bring your kick layers together and make it sound nice and cohesive. And the finalizing kicks you can put on like rendered kicks. You can basically put them on every kick you have to give them a little bit more tonality or a crunch, for example. And if you want to create FX, kick, FX kicks easily, you can select one of these presets as well. Um, then there's 10 different basic mastering templates um, that you can build up on further to master your tracks. There's a lot of stuff for melodies, so for ops, basses, chords, effect sense, harmonies, um, buses for leads, chords, and harmonies to glue everything together, basically. Uh, stuff for leads, others like a cello, guitar, etc., pads, piano and plugs and there's also a few separate chord buses in here uh, harmony buses in here lead buses are there um, and again this is supposed to make your life much easier and and just uh, directly select something and make stuff sound better um, a few other presets uh, for uh, for example um, side chaining or compression stuff for screeches to make them tight bright uh, distorted wide side chain compressed reverb or not uh, whatever you want and then stuff for focals for cinematic focals female focals fx sense male focals shouts and some special focals like a robot um, voice so that's it for that pack um, i think this is something that can enhance your productivity like i said and, and it's just so easy to use them i use them all the time to be honest and build up on those presets to make everything um, sound better in my tracks and create a proper mix down. The next thing in this pack is the Serum Kicks Volume 1. And there are five different 
presets for Serum in here, I also included the rendered versions of these kicks. And as you can see, it's best to play them on second octave. And the dry one simply means that it comes dry directly from Serum, while the processed ones are processed with the this kick bus that I have in here as well. You can just load that into your mixer channel as well, and then you're good to go. Yeah, so that's pretty much what you can expect from that pack. And um, as soon as you load something up, just start tweaking stuff. Um, again, in the matrix, it's useful to to just just go ahead and tweak uh, all these parameters. Uh, play around with the with the effects. Play around with different wavetables, different filters. Add sub or remove it, or add the noise or remove it, whatever. And just play around for yourself. And um, it's a very nice way to create some interesting kicks as well. Now, let's say that you don't want to make kicks, but just punches. Then I have also included a serum punch pack with 10 presets for serum to create punches. And again, this is just stuff that uh, I like to use as, as a base for my punches. Go in, uh, um, dive into the presets, change them up, add different wavetables, uh, different filters, and see what you can come up with to create punches for your kicks. Now, the last pack that I have in the production bundle is something that I like to call the SOS Melody Pack. And if you're a little bit like me, then this could come in really, really useful because I personally don't know so much about music theory. I really try to do my best and learn it um, as much as I can. But still, I like to use this pack um, to make sure that I stay in a certain skill, at least in the skill that I'm working in. Let's say that you want to create a melody or a chord progression in A sharp minor. What you do is you simply load it in here and it loads up with an empty sampler so it doesn't generate any sound. And then you simply go to the play uh, piano roll from the sound that you want to create your melody or chord or whatever in and then you see these highlighted notes over here and these are the ones that you can use while making your melody or your chord progression if you don't see them by the way you can hit alt v the shortcut to turn the ghost notes on um, and then it's like a little assistant to make sure that you stay into the right scale and that you use the right notes in the project that you're working with so that is all the content for the two packs that you can get your hands on. I really wanted to give back to the small but rising community that I have here. So I hope that these resources will be useful to you. To make sure that you get the chance to get even more, I'm doing a giveaway as well. So two lucky winners will have the possibility to win a copy of Isotope's Neutron 3 and a copy of my kick plugin Kick It for FL Studios Patcher. The date of announcing the winners can be found in the pinned comment below this video. So again, thank you so much for the support on the channel and let's make sure we grow even faster this year. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.